Welcome back to another edition of Vikings Film Room, brought to you by the Vikings Entertainment Network. I'm your host, Pete Bursich. Now, at the 24th selection in the fifth round, the Minnesota Vikings selected Zach Davidson, tight end out of Central Missouri. Now, for Davidson, his road to college football was by way of punting, and he continued to punt all the way through college, averaging over 44 yards per punt in 2019. Now, the Vikings didn't draft him for his punting ability. They drafted him for his receiving ability. And this 6'7", 245-pound tight end had 40 receptions for 894 yards, amassing 15 touchdowns in a single season. So let's take a look at the film and see where Davidson can help this Minnesota Vikings offense score maybe even more touchdowns. Now, as any NFL scout will tell you, if you're looking at the Division II level for potential starters in the NFL, that player better stand out immediately. And trust me, Davidson stands out immediately as a tight end at this level. You see on this first play, you get a bit of a bunch formation, but you'll see Davidson come off as a tight end. He splits these two safeties right down the middle. He outruns that linebacker. They're trying to play some form of cover two, catches the football, and he's gone. This is the type of dominance that you want to see out of a Division II athlete who has potential to make it in the NFL. Now at six foot seven, you expect Davidson to be a great receiver, but what about run after the catch? You'll see him here in the backfield as a potential blocker, gets his way out into the flat, makes a nice reception, but he's not done. This is run after the catch, folks. Four defenders near him. He's like a man among boys, and that's exactly what you want to see with a guy like this. He can run after the catch. Great athlete, great explosion, good hands. All right, whenever you have a great tight end, you wanna do some misdirection, get the guy open in space. In this case, they fake the jet sweep. Davidson just kind of wheels his way underneath, underneath the coverage, gets behind the defense, catches the football. Now you wanna see him make a move there and get a little further down the field, but does a great job again, faking the block, working his way out into space as a receiver. And again, at six foot seven, it's gonna be hard to stop this kid. All right, and in this case, he's just gonna run, he's at the top of your screen, he's gonna run on what they call an out and up. But you see him get out to the flat, he turns and looks, and he, so he sells that out route, and then wheels, gets up field, and that defender has no chance of catching up to him. Again, making it look easy, and that's what you wanna see out of a Division II player playing against his peers. All right, Central Missouri, again in the red zone. This is where tight ends become a threat. You get another tight end motioning over, fakes blocking down, leaks his way out to the backside. Easy throw and catch for another one of his 15 touchdowns in 2019. All right, he's at the bottom of your screen on the backside of a three wide receiver set. Gets up on the safety, uses that big body, catches the football and then turns, makes a move, makes another man miss, makes another guy miss and adds another 15 to 20 yards to the play. So he definitely dominated the field in, in, in Division II football. All right, play number 13, you're gonna see him to the right of your screen, just really turning out and blocking the defensive end. You'll see he gets his pads a little bit high, a little bit too much in the way of separation, but he stays with it, keeps running his feet, really blocks him to the end of the play. So the potential's there, the athleticism's there, he's gonna have to put on some weight, work on the feet, finish a little bit better. Another turnout block at the bottom of your screen, you see him on the left, he just wheels him inside and buries him. So good position blocking, good feet, Great athlete, we know he's gonna be what he's gonna be, but he's just gonna have to have a, add a little bit more lead to his pencil. All right, this is a great look, an end zone shot of what this kid can do one-on-one -on -one against defenders. You see him on the left hand of your screen, he's gonna get up the field and be one-on-one -on -one with this safety. Does the out, brings it back in, easy throw and catch, pirouettes back inside. Love to see him break that thing all the way to the end zone, but his ability to create separation. One-on-one, -on -one, this kid's gonna be tough to cover. All right, again, another example of run after the catch. You see him as an H back here, motioning across. This is just a simple flat route. The blitz from the defense, the defender does a good job of hitting him and slowing him up, but he gets away from it, catches his football in space, and again, run after catch, able to move inside, stay on his feet, and get that first down, move the chains. So a tall, lanky, fast, athletic type player he, he he tries to block he does his best he's gonna have to get a little bit bigger a little bit stronger to help him with some of those blocks before he can be a blocker out of the backfield at this level but will always be a threat at six foot seven he's gonna be a red zone threat a great vertical route runner gonna be interesting to see how he fits in that tight end group.